So, the new trailer for Avatar, The Last Airbender was recently dropped and it was absolutely epic and amazing. It damn near broke the internet. It didn't, but it almost did. In the new trailer, we got to see iconic scenes from the cartoon be recreated in stunning accuracy, such as that scene from Avatar where Zuko, disguised as the Blue Spirit, fights Zhao's men and rescues Aang from their clutches. There is also that scene where Aang rides an air scooter and slams into a statue. It is scenes like these that get people excited, they give us hope that on this second try at live action, the ball won't be fumbled, and that this series might actually be good. So far from what has been shown from previous teasers and this trailer, things are looking good. Now, as much as I love the recreation of the iconic Avatar moments, the thing that really had me excited, was seeing what can only be Fire Lord Sozin personally taking part in the genocide of the Air Nomads. Now it's hard to tell for sure who he is fighting here, but it could be Monk Gyatso. If it is Monk Gyatso, this showdown will be absolutely epic. What we could be seeing here is his last stand as he tries with all his might to defend his people and the many children who were housed at the Air Temple. I can absolutely see Sozin taking a leaf out of Anakin Skywalker's book and just massacring the airbender children. In the cartoons they gloss over the genocide, which is understandable, it was a kid's cartoon after all, but in this live-action series, I think we are going to see the genocide and not just be told about it, and it's gonna be brutal. I don't know in which episode we are going to see Sozin leading the genocide, but I just know that if Netflix does go there, it needs to be a real gut punch to see. It should be heartbreaking and it should really bring to reality the horror of what the Fire Nation did to Aang's people. And you know what? I am here for it, I am ready to curl into a ball and be depressed after watching it. Anyway, moving on from Sozin, another thing I liked was Daniel Day Kim as Ozai, he really looks great and imposing in this shot of him standing with what I am guessing are his underlings. And I also like this shot of him shirtless, he looks like a beautiful snack, and I just know I am not alone in this opinion, because people, me included, love a hot villain. I am predicting a torrent of thirst coming Daniel Day Kim's way. Mark my words, a lot of people are gonna start calling him Fire Daddy really soon. Is it wrong to thirst over a guy just because he is attractive, even though he is a villain? Yes, it is. Are people gonna do it anyway? The answer to that question is also, yes. I like a hot villain not only because they are great to look at, but also because it lands home the life lesson that sometimes bad people come in beautiful packaging. Now Daniel Day Kim's looks aside, his hair, clothes and physique are very faithful to the cartoon version, much more than whatever the heck this was. My other favorite clip from the trailer was really brief, and it was of one of my all-time favorites, Boomy. His presence is super important because other than Appa, he is literally the only person left alive that Aang knows from his childhood that isn't dead. As I was watching some of the reaction videos to the new trailer, some people in the comments were complaining that they got a younger actor to play Bumi, and then digitally aged him. But I think that this is a ridiculous complaint, because come on people. Did you expect Netflix to cast an actual old man? Old men in real life are not this fit and shredded or as energetic as the character of Bumi is. Other things that were in the trailer that are sure to tickle the fans, are these shots of Jet and June. The shots went by so quickly it was one of those blink and you'll miss it moments, but just like everyone else we've seen in the teasers, they too are on point and stay true to canon. The hair, the clothes, the makeup, all of it was done very well. They even got Jet's hooks right. I have zero complaints. Jet as a character is important in Team Avatar's development because it showed them that not all the people fighting against the Fire Nation are good guys. Another very important thing that was included in the trailer was Heibai, the angry forest spirit that kidnapped Sokka and many others into the spirit world. Heibai's true form is that of a gentle panda, but here we see him in his twisted and ugly form. In fact, he almost looks like those monsters from the Alien movies. And he got like this because he was angry about the destruction the Fire Nation visited on his forest. This episode in which Heibai appears is going to be super important, because it will show more of the damage that the Fire Nation has caused. 
It will show that it's not just people and forests that the Fire Nation affects, but also the spirits in the spirit world. This episode will also be important because Heibai will accidentally drag Aang into the spirit world with him, and while Aang is in the spirit world, he will interact with the spirit of Roku's dragon and then eventually, Roku himself. Hey, do you remember that Abomination movie, from the 2010s that cast Iroh as a skinny white guy? Oh my god, what the hell was that? I am so glad that this time around we are going to get a portly Iroh, you know, as God intended him to be. Iroh being fat is an integral part of his character, it makes people underestimate him, and easily forget the fact that he is a legendary badass. I mean, you do not get nicknamed the Dragon of the West simply for nothing. Not even Ozai, or Azulan or even Sozin earn a cool nickname like that. But because of his fatness, people forget that Iroh is a badass, and Iroh himself leans into this misconception people have of him by playing up his eccentricities. All in all, I am excited about this new upcoming series, and I also think that M. Night Shyamalan's movie, bad as it was, served as an important instructional manual on everything that should not be done. That movie walked, so that this Netflix series could run and fly. <laughs>